Memorizing shortcut keys is a simple way to increase your speed in Excel so you can get more done in less time. This tutorial walks you through the shortcut keys that you need to know to get faster in key areas of Excel. The description of this video is divided into timestamps that correspond with those key areas. At the end, I show you my favorite shortcut key that not many people use, so make sure to stick around for that and let's get started right now. Control C copies a value. When I move down a couple cells, Control V paste that value into another cell. Control X cuts a value from its current location and Control V moves that to another cell. Control P brings up the print menu and the escape key exits the menu. If you type something out that you didn't mean to, Control Z undoes that action. And if you take an action like coloring this cell green, Control Y redoes that action. Control Tab cycles you through open workbooks. So Control Tab moves me to this workbook and Control Shift Tab cycles you through the open workbooks in reverse order. Control Page Down takes you to the next sheet to the right of your current sheet. And Control Page Up takes you to the next sheet to the left of your current sheet. And if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, leave a comment and let me know what else can I help you with in Excel. Control End takes you to the last cell in the sheet that contains data or formatting. And Control Home takes you back to the first cell in the sheet. Currently, my cell is selected in the upper left cell of this data region. And when I press Control Right Arrow, I jumped to the rightmost non-blank cell of this data set. And control down moves me to the last non-blank cell down. Control left moves me to the left. And control up moves me back up to the top of the data. So here I am in B2, and I want to highlight cells to the right. To do this, I can press shift and tap the right arrow key. And each time I press the right arrow key, I select another cell. And there's an even faster way to do this when you have a range of data like I have here. I can hold Control, Shift, and right arrow key to select all the cells to the right in this data range. And it stops at the last non-blank cell in the range. I can press Control, Shift, Down arrow to select all cells down. And now I've highlighted a range of data. To jump back to the top of the page while maintaining the selection, press Control Backspace. Control Spacebar selects an entire column, and Shift Spacebar selects an entire row. Control Shift Plus inserts a new cell, and you have to determine whether you want to shift the existing cells to the right or down. When I press Enter, this is what it looks like to shift cells to the right. You can also choose to add an entire new row or an entire column, but I prefer to combine the past few shortcuts. So Control Spacebar to highlight the entire column and Control Shift Plus to add a new column, Shift Spacebar to select the entire row and Control Shift Plus to add a new row. Control minus delete cells and you have to make some of the same decisions here on where to shift the cells. But here I also like to combine the previous shortcuts. So shift spacebar highlights the entire row and control minus deletes that row. Control spacebar highlights the entire column and control minus deletes it. If you'd like to use tables in Excel, control T brings up the insert table menu. And if your data doesn't have headers, you can press tab to get down to that part of the menu and spacebar to unselect it. In this case, my table does have headers, so I'm going to press spacebar and enter to activate the table. Control shift L applies filters. And press alt down arrow to open up the filter menu. Notice the small underlines under each letter. If you want to take one of these actions, just press the corresponding letter. So F brings up text filters. And N brings up does not equal. So I'm going to type A-136 and press enter to apply that filter. And I'll press alt down arrow again to open up the menu. 
an arrow key down to the filters selection. And I can add selections using the spacebar and remove selections using the spacebar as well. And press enter to activate. And if you want to remove filters, just press Control Shift L to take them off as quickly as you put them on. Control B makes the contents of the cell bold. Control I makes them italics. Control U applies an underline. And Control 5 applies a strike through. Control colon adds the current date in this format. Control semicolon or Control Shift colon adds the current time. Control 1 opens the format cells menu and you can continue to navigate this menu with shortcut keys. Control page down navigates the menu items to the right and Control page up navigates the menu items to the left. And the underlying letters continue to let you make selections. In this case, Alt W enables a wrap text and just press enter to activate. And if you type a word and press Alt Enter, you can start a new line in the same cell. And when you press enter, it looks like this right here. Control Shift 1 formats your number with a comma and two decimal places. Control Shift 3 formats as a date. Control Shift 4 formats as a currency with two decimal points. Control Shift 5 formats as a percentage with no decimal points. Control Shift 6 formats the cell with scientific number format. Control Shift 7 applies a border around the cell. And Control Shift minus removes that border. Control Shift 8 selects the continuous range of cells. Now we're going to run through shortcut keys to make you faster with formulas. So I'm going to highlight these values here and press Alt Enter to auto sum those cells quickly. And if you want to edit the formula, press F2 to activate the cells edit mode. You can quickly jump to the beginning of the formula by pressing the home key. And here I'm going to start typing another formula to round this number. And Excel populates potential formula options. And I can navigate through these using the up and down arrow key. And when I select the formula that I want to implement, I can press the tab key to auto complete it with an open parentheses. To jump to the end of the formula, press the end key. And from there, I can start entering the remaining inputs. And then close parentheses and press enter. If you're editing a formula and you make a mistake and want to start over, press the escape key to exit the cell's edit mode and restore the formula to how it was before you started making edits. Now, I'm gonna calculate the median values for this data. I'm gonna start a median formula, which requires that I select a range of cells. And I can make that selection using Control Shift and the arrow keys as we did earlier. Now pressing F4 once applies an absolute reference, which keeps this cell range the same regardless of where you move this formula. Pressing F4 again locks the rows in place, and pressing F4 again locks the columns in place when you move this formula to another cell. And F4 again removes the absolute reference entirely. If you want to drag this formula to the right, Press shift right arrow to highlight the cells to the right and control R to drag it to the right. And if you want to drag this formula down, press shift down arrow to highlight cells below and control D to drag the formula down. Now we're going to talk about alt key shortcuts and my favorite shortcut key that not many people use. When I press the alt button, little black letters appear in the ribbon. And when I click the Alt key that corresponds with those letters, I open that part of the ribbon. So N opens up this insert section of the ribbon. And now even more letters appear. To enter a pivot table, I would press V and then T and the Enter Pivot Table menu appears. Note that I'm using Excel as part of my Microsoft 365 subscription. And if you're using a different version of Excel, then you might have different Alt shortcuts. So here are some of my favorite alt shortcuts. Select a range of cells and alt PRS sets the print area for the selected cells. 
Alt A W G brings up the goal seek menu. Alt W V G hides grid lines and Alt W V G shows grid lines. Alt W F F freezes panes so the rows remain even as you scroll down. Alt H I S inserts a new sheet and Alt H O T opens up the sheet color menu. Some alt key shortcuts from previous versions of Excel still work. For example, I'm going to copy this cell and Alt E S brings up this paste special menu and V makes the paste special values selection and enter activates that selection. Now you might be thinking there are still actions in Excel that I need my mouse for. What about the right click button on my mouse? And it is here I get to discuss my favorite key of all time. I call it the right click button, but experts call it the menu button. And it looks like a piece of paper on my keyboard. And when you click that button, it simulates right clicking on your mouse. You can navigate this menu by clicking the underlined letters that correspond with the action that you want to take. So here I'm going to press M to open up a comment, type it out and control enter to submit it. Leave a comment and let me know what shortcut key are you going to start using. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.